afternoon and as the Minster chimes fade away, uh, welcome to the Minster Vicarage and to the short service of midday prayer. Uh, I'm Jonathan, the vicar, and we'll begin our act of worship by lighting a candle in order to uh, still our hearts and our thoughts and to remember that we come into the presence of the God of the Resurrection. So we take a moment to remember that the Lord is waiting for us, that he invites us to join him in prayer, and that he sends out his Spirit uh, to help us in our prayers. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Some words of praise written by uh, the 4th century Bishop Gregory of Nazianzus. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with him. Today I am walking with him from the sleep of death. Our psalm this afternoon is number 146. Alleluia! Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live will I praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power. For there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong, and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Today's reading is from the book Revelation, chapter 1. I, John, turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And on turning, I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lampstands, I saw one like the Son of Man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash across his chest. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. 
I am the first and the last, and the living one. I was dead, and see, I am alive for ever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Here ends the reading. So let us pray. Let us pray to the living Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For medical workers and the NHS, for care homes and their staff, for funeral directors and those supporting the bereaved, that they may be strengthened and blessed as they give themselves in the service of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. And together we pray as Jesus himself taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for joining with us in this short act of prayer at midday. Tomorrow, of course, is Sunday and uh, Wendy will be celebrating Holy Communion from Newton Drive uh, and that will be available on the Minster website uh, at 10.30. And tomorrow for the first time we thought we would have a go at uh, having a virtual coffee after church uh, via Zoom. Uh, so this will be at 11.15 and the link to Zoom uh, will be posted on the Beverly Minster and Daughter Church's Facebook page. Or alternatively, if you send an email to Tim the Curate at 
curate at beverlyminster.org.uk then Tim will send you the link uh, to Zoom and you just click on the link and you'll be able to join in and see everybody there and it'll just be a chance for us to see one another and to uh, have a chat uh, and we'll see how it goes but hopefully that'll be another way of keeping people in touch so do join us at 11.15 tomorrow morning uh, after you've had a chance to uh, see the service uh, at 10.30. Bye-bye for now.